Hey all, Ryan here for Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, cut them open and see what spills out. So this week, the three we have, we have this kind of crazy fossil included, you know, maybe churdy little nodule, you know, not a, you can get a tons of different things out of the middle of these. Sometimes they're awesome, sometimes they're just blah. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one the long way right here, right down the middle. Get the, as much face as I can. And the second one is this kind of churdy conglomerate or brescia. It's got this big black band through it. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go right down this way. Right down the middle and see what's in the middle of that. Just to see if any of that black comes through or just to see if there's any really cool brasciated patterns in there. And then the third one is going to probably push the saw a little bit, but it's another little churdy, maybe fossil included nodule. You know, just like that first one kind of. This one's got maybe some, you know, bryozoan fossil right there. But I'm going to go through this one to get as much face as I can. So go right down the middle this way and hopefully there'll be something just awesome inside of there too. So let's get the six inch trim saw set up and we'll get cutting. Okay, so I'm through that first churdy kind of nodule, got right down the middle, so I'll have two nice pieces. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Even though it's just mudstone in there, look at all of those little inclusions in there. You know, some of them could be fossils. Either way, it's really cool, even if it's just quartz, but look at all that detail in there. That's really cool. So I should be able to make something out of these two decent little pieces here. So that's definitely a one for one. I just love that brushiated look in there. All right, let's get on to that second one. Okay, through the second one, I had to spin it because it was a little wide, but I think I got a good spin on it. So let's see what we got. Oh, just another really cool conglomerate. You know, now I'm kind of thinking maybe sandstone or mudstone with some maybe chert, you know, darker chert inclusions in there. That's really cool. I just love those. You know, I love all of these conglomerates and brushias. You just never know what's going to be inside. You know, this thing was very brown, a lot of black through it, but really none of that black came through. A little bit of it, but but I think it's still super awesome. So that's two for two. So let's get on to that last one. Okay, so we're through the third one. I just have to nip this little edge off here. That's why the gap looks so big, but I got right down the middle, so I should be able to get two good pieces as long as there's something in here. Cross our fingers. <laughs> That's the best one yet right there. Look at that. Got some agonization right there, the white. Another little micro pocket right there. Some quartzy stuff, some mudstone, maybe some Chalcedony right there, the orange or reddish color. Oh yeah, that is super awesome. All of those different materials and minerals in there, there, through there, you know, there's probably a half a dozen different minerals right there. That's awesome. All right, so I would say definitely three for three, three really unique patterns in all of them. So, all right, if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for a couple close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.